Matt Justice here for Tackle Trading. I've recently got a few different uh, email requests concerning the basic setup of uh, Thinkorswim. And as many of you know, Thinkorswim is a broker that is owned by TD Ameritrade. Uh, TD Ameritrade purchased Thinkorswim a few years ago. And one of the reasons why TD Ameritrade purchased Thinkorswim was simply for the reason that they wanted a trader's broker with trader technology. In my estimation, Thinkorswim has one of the best options ba uh, based platforms in the entire marketplace. You can trade multiple different instruments with it. You can trade futures, forex, stock, options, ETF, mutual fund, you name it. You can trade that in Thinkorswim. And even though it's got a lot of shiny bells and whistles and whatnot, it's actually a very simple platform to utilize. You know, well, first you got to look at the links up at the top here. You have the monitor tab, the trade tab, the analyze tab, the scan tab, market watch tab, chart tab, tools and whatnot. For the most part, we only work off a few of the different tabs up at the top. On the left hand side over here, this is where all your account info is. This is where you can build watch lists and, and whatnot. So let's first start on the monitor tab here. And down over here on the left hand side, this is where you can build watch lists. So if you click this little wheel wrench type deal, you can uh, see it kind of has a drop down menu. Here's the personal watch list that I've created. Here's you can create a watch list, you add to it, you save it. You can quickly cycle through different watch lists that you've created, whether it's a Vega watch list, a bearish watch list, or whatever the case might be. Really simple to scan through different uh, watch lists you've created. And what I would strongly recommend is uh, creating a few different watch lists. I have a uh, credit watch list, a bullish one, a bearish one, a Vega one, a uh, Forex one, and a futures one, as well as an ETF one, uh, a sector one, a market index one. So I can quickly scan through uh, not only the stocks and the ETFs and, and the instruments that I that I watch, but also in terms of the market, the sectors and whatnot as well. Now on the monitor tab itself, the Thinkorswim will break this down into tradable instrument and strategy. And so basically it will tell you basically all of your different positions here's all your working orders here's your filled orders canceled orders whatnot now one thing you want to always do is beta weight it next to the spiders that's going to compare the uh, the delta the delta gamma theta numbers vega numbers against what the s p 500 is so we got it beta weighted across the top is just all your numbers here obviously i don't have any trades on this is a uh, virtual trader uh, so we got a couple stock positions couple single positions and whatnot here's your profit loss from the open here's your profit loss today this is not how you manage trades you manage trades based on you know where your alerts are where your orders are where your stop losses are and whatnot on Honestly, traders could care less what they make in one day, whether uh, outside of a crash, we'll, we'll say that. But uh, they re really care about the long term growth. They care about uh, the numbers like delta and theta. Those are the two most important numbers. And one of the things that you'll be learning at Tackle Trading is a concept called delta weighting and theta targeting. One of the reasons why we like Thinkorswim is if I click this button over here, number one, I can arrange it by different spreads. So if I trade like straddles and strangles, I can look at those. If I trade iron condors and single trades and vertical trades and whatnot, it'll break it down based on this types of strategies. So you can quickly kind of manage those different positions. You can also click on that and go down to old layout and it'll fill out your delta numbers, your theta numbers, your vega numbers. You can really kind of see your entire portfolio, what it's doing. And right now, this portfolio is, is a slightly bullish portfolio. So, and, and the only reason I know that is based on this number here. And it has cash flow negative of $43 a day, which basically means of the, all of these trades we have on here, we are slightly bullish as a combined against the market itself, and we're losing $43 a day. That's how much money we are losing on, on a daily basis. So Delta tells us our directional posture. Theta tells us how much cash flow we're losing. If we're uh, primarily a buyer of options, or it tells us how much cash flow we're receiving. Vega is the number for volatility. We'll discuss that at a later date. Now, in the trade tab, this is where you primarily work if you're an option trader. And on the left-hand side here, these are all the expiration dates. Hit a drop down. You'll see now you have all your different uh, strike prices. Now, uh, we want to look at more strike prices than four, so click the strike buttons up here, go down to all, okay? And you can see now, we can see all the different strike prices on Google itself. Now here, it has the bid, the ask, the net change, and the last trader price. 
Let's change that down to the Option Greek. So I'm going to click out the Layout button, go down to Delta Gamma Theta Vega. Now I have my Greeks there, the bid I spread on everything. I'm going to do it one more time. I'm going to go down to Customize, and I'm going to fill out both in terms of Volume and Open Interest. I'm going to add those two to the list as well. And so now I have everything on my option chain that I need to look at. So that's where you do it. Now, in terms of you know placing trades within Thinkorswim in the options market, everything is just a right-click type function. So let's say I wanted to buy the 530 call option. I right-click on the delta, go down to buy single contract, confirm and send. That's how you do it just in terms of simple order entry. Noah's done some great videos in terms of advanced order entry as well. If I wanted to sell bull put spread on it, right click sell vertical, put in the mid price, confirm and send, done. Uh, once again, very, very simple in terms of the right click function. If I wanted to do a straddle at the 530, right click buy straddle once again simple 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 to understand now if I go to the analyze tab a lot of times before we place a trade what we'll do is we'll do a risk graph on it so if you want to like assess a bull put spread on Google let's go to add simulated trades go down to February once again change this and we gotta change this again just to match it this is a, I got a new computer so I don't have all my settings uh, done yet so there in the uh, Delta Theta Vega Gamma let's uh, we don't need to really see the open interest and whatnot but we're gonna add it anyways customize volume add price and open interest add items there we go okay so let's say we wanted to assess a bull a bull put spread in on Google here so I just right click on the Delta and that's just something I always do is right click on Delta let's do a vertical okay so now it's added a vertical then you go over to the risk profile and you can see the risk graph on the vertical so you can assess you know the re reward to risk ratio or and the where you're how much money you're gonna make at different levels on the chart and whatnot so this is kinda how we assess a different trade before we ever even make it and that's something I would recommend in the scan tab I don't use the scan tab a lot but uh, we'll do some videos on the scan tab so that everybody can kinda see how to do it uh, but I need more than a couple minutes to be able to do it market watch tab I don't really use use very very much if at all going over to the chart tab here's my chart on thinkorswim this is my standard chart here's your price action up here this indicator is called the probability of expiring cone I have my volume you can overlay your volume I just don't like the way it looks more than anything else here's my ATR here's my implied volatility if I want to scrunch them I just scrunch them down and now I can see the trend and everything if you want to change the time frame you click the D and let's go down to a week and you can see now Google on a weekly chart. If you wanted to add studies, click the click the uh, wrench to change their time frame of everything. So change uh, anything you want to see on the chart. You hit that wrench icon right there. This little icon, edit studies. You can add whatever indicator you want. This is where I added everything I wanted to see on my chart. And now I'm ready to rock and roll. Now, one thing I do like about Thinkorswim charts as well is you can see when corporate announcements are coming up. Here's an earnings. Here's an earnings. Here's an earnings. Here's an earnings. So that's another reason why I do appreciate Thinkorswim in terms of you know you uh, being able to quickly identify when news is coming out. So that's kind of just a very brief, basic walkthrough on how to use Thinkorswim, kind of the feature set in Thinkorswim. Like I said, we'll do some more uh, scanning tabs uh, in terms of we'll do some more videos in terms of scanning. And also in their live trader, they have something called the on-demand program. And the on-demand program is a very awesome platform it's a little slow a little cumbersome but it is a great platform to utilize and uh, we'll do some uh, back testing with that on demand program to show you how to use that as well this is Matt Justice for Tackle Trading you guys have an absolutely great uh, week and uh, I'll be back tomorrow with some more videos uh, we do have a podcast coming tomorrow and the next day we are live podcasting a chili cook off uh, between Tim and myself for New Year's so that's going to be fun uh, definitely check out that and if you guys have any comments on, on videos you need done go ahead to Tackle trading.com and uh, post them in the clubhouse and uh, we'll try to get you guys some help in terms of the videos I did post the Forex report today check that out get trading Forex there's no better tradable instrument or funner tradable instrument than the currency market itself and uh, if you like the podcast and everything else guys make sure you like it there on uh, on uh, iTunes as well Matt Justice for Tackle Trading